Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is. Curbmeister Klotz, back in the garage, working on my GT40 kit car. It's a race car replicas kit car. Today I have an unboxing and I have updates. So it's been about three, four weeks since I posted. I've uh, been busy. Um, one of the things I, I got done is uh, I had a friend, my buddy Steve, made me some uh, business cards and um, got me uh, started on Instagram. So I'm uh, Curbmeister Klotz on Instagram. Check it out. I'll, I'll just do, uh, I'll try to do something daily. And um, I updates, uh, I was in Minnesota for uh, 10 days. I drove the vet. Um, big fun. Um, it's it's an easy cruiser car on the highway. It's comfortable, uh, good tunes. Uh, it loves the 93 octane in the low altitude. It's like a whole nother car in Minnesota. Um, my brother and sister are in Minnesota. Hung out with those guys. And I went to the Back to the 50s car show. That's on the Minnesota State Fairgrounds. Huge car show, 12 to 13,000 cars. Big fun. Um, before that, not so fun. We had a, a huge rain. We had a tremendous amount of rain and hail. Turned the ground white, but uh, it, it filled up one of the window wells in the back of the house, and the water came in between the glass. So that was a huge mess. I had to clean that up. And so that's why I haven't posted, but I did order a bunch of stuff and it's come in. So let's check it out. Okay, now for the unboxing. I think we should go small to large or let's do the big one first. This box is from Spec, Clutches and Flywheels. So we got here, got some instructions. Like it's well packed. It says it's forty four pounds. So I got their uh, stage three plus kit on um, clutch. Pressure plate and disc must be all in there. Let's see if I can get this apart. Handy dandy clutch alignment tool. I have a real one. I guess that would work. Never used a plastic one. Well, I guess it's all bolted together. So there's a throw out bearing in there. Let me get a uh, Allen and we'll uh, take it apart and see what it looks like. Is 
Okay, I'm ready to zip off these fasteners and we see what we got. Helps if you go the right way. Oh, it's still on there. Okay, typical diaphragm clutch. And uh, this is the one rated at uh, 640 foot pounds of torque. So I should be good. Here's my uh, special throw out bearing. So the, the throwout bearing pushes on the diaphragm to, to release the clutch. There's the disc. It's a special uh, compound for the torque. And this is where that tool comes in handy. So with the tool, goes through the spines and it picks up the pilot bearing. So I got this through Chavez Performance Engineering and uh, this is their um, proprietary flywheel that um, they had uh, spec clutches make. So it's an aluminum billet aluminum piece with a replaceable friction, um, probably iron or steel. And then there's the throw or the um, pilot bearing is in there. Whereas the uh, Chevy has the pilot bearing in the end of the crankshaft right about here. So I, I needed that distance to be able to mount that transaxle to that engine. So 168 teeth should work with my um, starter, fit in there. And uh, pretty cool that you can change this friction ring. It's dowel pinned and it's a billet piece. Pretty cool. So, see what else we got here. Throw out bearing, disc. All the fasteners. So, also from uh, Chavez Performance Engineering, they're uh, experts at um, if you have a Porsche and you blow the engine, they're the guys you want to see to put your LS engine in the Porsche. You know, or if you're like me and you want to use the um, Porsche uh, uh, Gitrag transaxle and adapt it to the LS engine. So they sent me the, somehow I got to get this open. So I have an adapter line so I can run uh, um, hook to the car and hook to the stock for, uh, Porsche um, slave cylinder 
to uh, push on that uh, throwout bearing. And they sent me some ARP bolts to bolt the uh, flywheel to the engine. So that's cool. So this is uh, products from FCP Euro. This is uh, Porsche and Saks parts. I figured I'd go with the good stuff. So I, I, uh, I got a clutch fork. So this will pivot on, on something here, and uh, the slave cylinder will push here, and that will pick up the um, throwout bearing to release the clutch. Since it's a Porsche um, slave cylinder, I got Porsche fluid. Sacks, they make the... I think this is the um, slave cylinder. So this thing is hydraulically actuated and it'll push on the end of the um, clutch fork and that's what's going to engage and disengage the uh, clutch. So that's a brand new Porsche piece. What else? I got a small seal. Uh, this is, uh, I needed uh, the pivot ball for the um, other end of the uh, fork to, to uh, pivot on. It wasn't in my transaxle. So that's, that'll be something like that. Uh, a special spring, and I think that holds the uh, the uh, throwout bearing on the fork. That gizmo, and some bolts to mount this uh, slave cylinder. So that's a bunch of good stuff. And then uh, I got some stuff from Amazon. I got some Motul um, gear oil for the transaxle. I got six quarts. So Porsche uh, normally runs with uh, three, uh, just under three quarts, but my, my mounting is upside down, so I need six quarts to uh, make sure I, I have enough fluid for the gears to always be bathed in oil. Okay, so, here's uh, another look at all the goodies I got. So, we got this, 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 and this through Chavez Performance Engineering. So, special flywheel adapter, clutch disc with a friction material, and a pressure plate. It's a diaphragm versus the three-finger Borg and Beck. Diaphragm clutch and throwout bearing. Um, Porsche design. This is my alignment tool, splined. And the idea is, is that 
it fits in this uh, pilot bearing and it'll align the disc correctly so when you bolt down the uh, pressure plate the input from the transaxle will slide right in never actually goes that way but it's sometimes it does so i needed the um clutch fork this is in the in what would be called the bell housing part of the transaxle and there's a a little um um pivot ball there and this is some sort of adapter for that i don't really know i ordered it anyway spring it's going to hold this uh, throw out bearing in the right position here and this is some sort of seal that goes on this um, pivot so slave cylinder and a special line that pairs with the slave cylinder and um, pairs with the car this is a uh, Porsche specific looks like dot three four um, brake fluid and um, Motul synthetic 75 uh, 90 gear oil and so that's all the goodies I better do a quick walk around so the next video you'll see me removing the transaxle I want to leave the engine in the car See if I can do it. I think I can. I made a lift uh, setup so I can lift it out. The cherry picker, it's about 175 pounds. Still haven't actually cut the dry sump fuel tank or oil tank. And I have to build a box to weld onto the side here for the extra volume. Because I'm going to lose some volume when I shorten this tank. Can't wait to get my new wheels. You see that chain and um, weights over there? This doesn't sit down very good. And I've had weight on it for quite a while. So I don't think it's working. Over on this side, I used the heat gun. And I did bring it down quite a bit. You can see I can't get my finger underneath it. Probably have to do it again to get it to sit flat. It's getting there. You can see over here, suspension's still apart so I can install the fuel tanks. And lastly, I think sometime this week I'm going to mount, I made a mount, fabricated it, and I replaced the aluminum angle that was here with a steel for strength, and it's going to clamp onto this, this aft end of the transaxle, or, uh, so it can't move around. And the dash is sitting pretty over there. That'll be next video. Um, that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you like the video. Leave me a comment or a question or any, any ideas. It's always good to hear. And as always, Curbmeister Klotz saying, keep the shiny side up and your nuts tight.